Welcome to today's Clear Action Value Exchange uh, series on customer value resources. We have Michael Poulin here from CAA, and we're going to be talking about what's trivial or what's vital now in DX, CX, and EX. Michael, could you tell a little bit about your background? So I'm up in, uh, up in Canada in the province of Saskatchewan, uh, north of Montana. Uh, and uh, my background is market research primarily. Uh, customer sat and a lot of brand development. And I made the leap from the research side to the brand management side. And it was in, during that, and when I was building out brand strategies for a financial institution that I stumbled across uh, the experience economy by uh, Pine and Gilmore. And that book really uh, was very inspirational for me. And, and I decided that I was building my brand model around customer experience. That customer experience really is the foundation of a good brand. And have since left that, did some consulting in that space, and now I am the manager, or sorry, the director of marketing and membership for CAA Saskatchewan. Um, and CAA being the Canadian Automobile Association, the Canadian counterpart to AAA. Brand trust is, is more important than ever. Um, on one hand, you've got the need for increased digital experience uh, because the environment has forced us into more and more digital delivery. But on the other hand, you have a lot of a lot of cynicism around government and a lot of cynicism around corporations and whose whose interests do they have at heart. And so those companies who can really develop and deliver that brand trust are going to win out in, in times like this. My role within our organization is to grow membership. And we get three quarters of our new members through our bricks and mortar channel. Um, and it's through face-to-face -face interaction. And we, we happen to be the number one most trusted brand in Canada right now. And a lot of that comes from the amazing personal interactions that we create. And so when we had to close our doors uh, for a few months, it, it changed things for us. And we started to rely more and more on digital channels. And our, I mean, our digital channels are good, but they can't replicate that same level of face-to-face. -face. So we had to scramble quite quickly to create opportunities for our bricks and mortar staff to proactively reach out to existing members to create great conversations and great experiences and to really demonstrate that trust that even without a, a, a mandated sales opportunity, we were reaching out just to make sure that they were okay and, and to find out if there was anything we could do for them. So tell me a little bit about uh, how you, the overall model that you use to look at what's going on with how customers see things versus the realities behind the scenes. Yeah. So, okay. So when I was a brand manager and, and developing brand strategies, I, I built my own uh, model for how to develop a brand. And I use the analogy of an iceberg. And certainly when we think branding, we think ad agencies, we think creative, we think visual identity. Um, and that's the small piece above the water. But the big piece below the water that really is the foundation of your brand is the piece that only your customers see. And that's your products and services, uh, your channels, and your people. And what I try to do in the role I'm in is, even though I only have a responsibility for a narrow slice of the organization, I'm a, a champion. I'm trying to foster a culture where we create a great employee experience first, because the employees are the foundation of the brand. And if you can get them focused on putting the customer first, then that customer centricity feeds upward and eventually is reflected in your marketing. Essentially, I always used to say that the the customer experience is the delivery and your branding and marketing is the promise and the promise and the delivery have to match. Otherwise you, you erode brand trust by promising one thing and delivering something else. I mean, you look at a company like Amazon and they get a lot of bad press for how they treat their employees and yet their customer experience is fantastic from a digital perspective in terms of how easy they make it and, and the way they've created they've really reset expectations around, you know, how quickly you're going to get something that you buy online and the recommendation engine and all that. They went very digital first, but I think the challenge is if you were to put them on a scale of brand trust, it wouldn't be very high because of all the, the stories around how they treat their employees. And so our stance, what we are doing is very much the opposite. It's 
what can we do? <clears throat> sorry, what can we do to create a great experience for our employees that will then translate into a great experience for customers? And then the digital is just an extension of that rather than being the foundation. I built my own personal philosophy and model for brand development around customer experience. Um, cause I see it as it's the foundation of making these things work. And so I pursued the CCXP partly to validate, um, a lot of the experience I already had, uh, but also to, if anything, serve as a, as an impetus to go even further. Um, so I, I was attracted to the role I'm in because I'm, I'm looking for that opportunity to apply customer experience principles to cultural development, to uh, brand development as a way of helping an organization succeed. And so the situation I'm in is I'm, I'm trying to build a new brand for our company and foster a culture that will grow our CX metrics. Uh, and hopefully those two will be so well aligned uh, that we will grow membership faster than we ever have before and attract people to what we offer. And I was attracted to it also because it, it's something different. Um, you see so many people today with, you know, they might have five years of work experience and they've got an MBA and, and they just, they don't have the, they don't necessarily have the work experience to apply everything that they learned in a master's program. And what the CCXP does is it stands out as something that is more practically based rather than just purely theory based. And if you, if you combine that with some good work experience, um, it's, I think it's really a hallmark of someone who knows how to do the best thing for customers. You can learn more about partnering levels, trust dynamics, and smoothing silos and related topics in the Clear Action Value Exchange. This is an example of a solve space, an interactive template. The Clear Action Value Exchange shows customer intelligence stewards how to influence organizational agility, internal and external alignment, and stakeholder accountability at the interpersonal, department, and enterprise levels. An array of formats makes it easy to pop in and find nuggets of wisdom to elevate performance that will increase ease of doing business and ease of work. Join us today in the Clear Action Value Exchange. Mm -hmm.